Hey Leo, welcome to your 2020 love reading for um, the upcoming year. Um, this would be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with what's currently going on between um, you and the person that you're dealing with in a connection as well as the energies that you would be um, embodying crossing over to 2020. All right, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended reads are in the description box below. Also, um, my way of saying thank you for everybody um, for getting this channel to 30k over subscribers. Thank you so much. And um, with that, I am currently doing the 333 giveaways. Um, I do have a couple of tarot decks here. And... Um, I've um, announced the three winners today, and I still have a couple more. So if you want to participate in this giveaway um, stuff, <laughs> the link on how to participate it is also in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and um, do your reading. What do we have for Leo in love for um, 2020? Crossing over 2020. What do we have for Leo? more this is for Leo Sun Moon rising in Venus and Jupiter in love page of wands five of wands <clears throat> and the two of cups seven of coins the world and the page of cups the king of cups the temperance and the um, nine of wands at the bottom of the deck you have the king of coins in lieu of the new year I'm going to use the Oracle um, Oracle of visions yeah deck for the mini version to give us more insight so I'll be pulling in clarifiers for these cards these are just numbered cards so there wouldn't be any headings, but the messages I would incorporate it as I go and do your reading, all right? Give us messages for Leo. That is the world here. I have 17, 16. I feel that you are distant from the person that you're dealing with, at least in the recent past. You may not be um, connecting as much. It doesn't mean that you are not in each other's minds, but um, I can see distance here. Um, there's some sort of waiting, um, thinking whether do you still want to put effort into this connection? Do you still want to invest more? Because it seems like something has ended, something has been completed about this connection in the past. And um, you are, Leo, you are trying to gain back balance, uh, stability in your life. Yeah. Possibly um, the reason why things really did not go well in the past was that um, there could have been a... Um, you are wanting to have a, a new, to kick off a, a beginning in this connection. This could be somebody that you have dealt with um, for um, the longest time now. It could be an on-off kind of connection. But I see here that, um, at least in the recent past, there was an energy of wanting to reach out, to start something off, and um, possibly to start um, engaging emotionally. But that did not really take place as much. It seems that um, there could have been some sort of um, holding back, control. Somebody is um, trying to control themselves and expressing something here. This could be you. Mm -hmm. But Leo, I do see here that you're starting off with um, new endeavors. Um, for some of you, you could even be connecting with um, new folks right here. Yeah, for some of you, you could be connecting with new folks, um, new acquaintances. Um, you're opening yourself up. And that's actually one way of 
bringing back balance in your life. If you have been holding back or holding on to something that did not work in the past, I do feel that this time around, in order for you to have balance, to have that inner peace, is to just be you. Face the world doing you. Um, if you need to... Uh, connect with new people, start up a new business, um, engaging in, in events, especially now is the holiday season, I could see that you're exactly doing that. Mm -hmm. And with regards to um, the person that you dealt with in the past, there is this um, um, conflicted feeling inside you whether are you going to let them go for good. Although I feel that physically, yes, you may not be um, in constant, um, <laughs> with no physical appearance. Yeah, for some of you, you may not even be meeting as often. Um, in your mind, in your heart, you're actually, you're actually uh, starting to let this person go with the thought that if this connection is really meant to be, then you kind of believe that this person would come back. So it's more like you're giving it to the universe. Like, okay, what would the universe give back for me? Yeah. The person that you're dealing with, there's feelings. They feel um, there is this love here, I feel. And um, somehow this person is kind of looking back as well on what you have done or, or what you have shared in the past. Kind of looking back in the past, or uh, you know, doing the looking back, <laughs> looking back into good uh, memories, as well as trying to compare um, where you are at right now. So this person is um, doing some sort of um, looking back at the past failures of the things that did not work, although they do have this really feelings for you. They are not. Um, they're holding back their emotions, at least for now, I see. But with this um, 26 here, this actually talks about having a fresh start. Looking back at the past failures and learning the things that did not work in the past and uh, possibly wanting to, to correct or to make amends. Mm -hmm. There is that one thing in your person's mind and heart. Um... For now, uh, you could be focusing in your um, self, um, nurturing the things that are productive, the aspects in your life that are doing well, specifically um, in terms of practical matters, your job, your business, your um, putting your effort, energy into things that could give you um, rather more benefit, yeah? financial benefit I see most often or anything that you believe once you put your energy and um, time into it anything that could last uh, or can give you long-term benefits that's how I that's how I see it you're not into some sort of short-term gratification or whatsoever you are more into gearing yourself up for long-term stability here I see mm -hmm. but you're a person there is this um, feeling of them Although they are not um, fully expressing themselves, this person is um, having a new start in life. A new... I, I feel that when you both um, kind of separated, because I see separation here, uh, when you're both in your separate corners, you did have um, the uh, focus onto yourselves, on your own, each one of you. And for you, Leo, I see that there is this balance in terms of um, gaining control back of your emotions, of your expectations even, yeah? And also, the, the capability of having to see things, um, you know, just letting things be, going with the flow. Mm -hmm. Although there is this one thing in your in yourself um, in the past, perhaps, that um, even though you've been with this person for a couple of times, um, in and out kind of energy, uh, you know, you could be together and then you split and then uh, get back together again. So it's it's kind of on and off kind of thing. Um, that can be tiring. That can be exhausting. 
but I see that there is this energy in your side that you're you're still there is still that perseverance that persisting kind of energy that if you can see that there is this uh, way of making things work here you would still want to give it a try I think that was part of your mindset in the recent past but um, seeing now in this cards I do see that you are more focused on your um, stability, on things that have long-term benefits rather than this short-term gratification. And um, your person, actually, I could see that um, is trying to spend some time letting time be as well. There's also that energy of this person going on a day-to-day -day life, finding balance, being patient with the improvements, with with how they feel on a day-to-day -day basis. But um, one thing for sure, they are trying to be emotionally stable. At the same time, by doing that, this person is also not expressing so much. But there is this energy that this person is wanting to have a fresh start. And time is an element here. This person is also possibly thinking that it could have been, you know, quite a while now that you are not connecting. They might come back. They, they might think that now is the right time to get back to my Two of Cups. Because what I'm seeing here is that there is a deep connection. There is this uh, union that you've had when you met. You feel for both of you that you are both holding each other's cup that are meant to be in partnership. And I feel that this is um, reaching out kind of energy. This could be two things, reaching out to your higher self. That means that you have ascended after gaining back balance, after lessons have been learned. Now you are ready to move to another level of um, you're ascending from, you know, from, from where you're at right now. With the learnings, like um, most um, elders we know would say that once you know something, you cannot undo it or you cannot unknow it, you know. So... As we grow, as time passes by, we learn things. And um, I feel that you have grown here. Yeah? That is um, in terms of personal development. But in terms of partnership, I could see that this is the person that actually at one point you feel like um, there is this soul tie with uh, one another. Okay? There is still this sense of um, going with the flow. For some of you who are still connecting with this person, I could see that there could be some communications and you will likely see a development come um, January of 2020 in the way this person would communicate. If they have been quite lax in the recent past, let's say November, December, they may connect, but there wasn't any form of um, persistence. Yeah, in their connection, it's pretty on off, and uh, you feel like you are put at the back burner. I feel that in January, January, February, this person is going to realize because this is this is an energy of somebody realizing it's uh, time. It's time to do the right thing. Otherwise, you'll just run out of time. And there's no more going back to the things that you have missed. So I'm, I'm getting here that although there was um, patience has been practiced by this person in the past, I could see that this person will bring in stability, harmony into this connection. Yeah. I think the advice here too is to, um, once this energy comes in, just um, try to go with the flow and then see how things go. Uh, don't negate um you're it's not it's not advisable to negate if this is a connection that you're still interested in um just go with the flow but also at the same time don't forget that going with the flow doesn't mean you forget your yourself yeah you can be in unison with one another but um it doesn't mean that you also need to compromise what uh compromise your interest compromise your values at the same time what makes you happy in a connection. So go with the flow and see what this person brings. This is a fresh start energy that this person is carrying forward. Okay, so I'm going to be extending this reading and um, I will be pulling in cards to 
uh, for the forecast for the coming uh, 2020. I'll be pulling in cards for the first quarter, January to March, um, April to June, and um, all the way to December. And um, we will get, uh, I would also be clarifying them with the um, Oracle deck. So let's see what um, further messages and insights we could get for your reading for the um, coming 2020. All right. So otherwise, if you want to follow me in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. If you want to join the 333 giveaways, the link is also down below. All right. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.